Hello and welcome to the second tutorial on the C++ programming series and in this section we're going to be looking at how to set up a project. We're going to show you how to set up a project on Mac and also on Windows so you can do whichever will be using Mac from here on out in all the tutorials but it's essentially the same once you've got it set up. So what you need to do is actually there's several ways you can do it. The way we're going to do it and we recommend is download Xcode. You can just download it off the App Store for free. And then once you've downloaded the Xcode and Xcode, not Xcode, Xcode and you've installed it and you've set it up, next thing you want to do is just open it up, click create a new Xcode project. So you want to create a simple command line tool to learn C, select your language type, is it is C and then just put your product name. I'm just gonna put C tutorial the reason we put in plus plus is here if you put plus plus I'll show you you get minus minus here so it's just we're just gonna put it in the words click next save wherever you want we're just gonna bring in our desktop and then that, that's that is it we've sorry about that um and then we've got our main CPP and we've got our product so if we just run this we'll just get a console out that just says hello world and uh, let's just quickly go over what this does so first line the hash include the call to the preprocessor to include the contents of io streams so basically just includes the contents of this file here or where it is included main is the entry point of the application and returns an int value which is usually zero aka here but you can make something else which can be used for debugging purposes argc is argument count uh, and is the number of arguments being passed into your program from the command line and argv, the argument vector, aka the array of arguments. The C out is accessing the C out method or the STD, uh, common common C out is accessing the C out method from the STD namespace and uh, within the which is stands for standard namespace. C out is console out that allows text to be printed in the console that we'll be covering that in the next tutorial as well so yeah that is it for um, setting up on Xcode and that's just a quick run through of what the code does by default so to run it on Windows I'll just show you now what you want to do I was going to maximize this put it to the right resolution and now, there's several versions of Visual Studio. You can use Visual Studio 2005, 2008. We're using the latest one, 2013, and we're using Express, which is for free. You want the Windows version, aka desktop, not Windows Phone or Windows Metro or the modern interface, as they're calling it. Once that's loaded, you want to start a new project by clicking here or just go in File. And once it uploads, uh, so slow it up. Okay, file, new project, and then you want to go to my bad. I have loaded the wrong Visual Studio. That was my fault. So I will load the correct one. This is the one I believe. Have a quick look. Yeah, I think that is the one. Yep, this is the one. My bad for Windows Desktop. Then you want to just go on Console Application. I'm just going to call this C plus plus tutorial. I'm going to save it to our desktop. Click OK. Then for this, we're just going to keep it simple. The properties of our application. It's going to click empty project. We can just get rid of SDL. Make sure it's console application. Click finish. What we're going to do is just add that CPP file that we had in Xcode by default ourselves. So we're just going to click new item. CPP, we're going to call it main. You can call it whatever you want. But I like calling it main and then what we're going to do uh, 
hash include io stream then we're gonna put in main you don't actually have to put the arguments inside you generally will never use the arguments in all my years of programming C++ never used the parameter that go into main so you don't even have to actually put them there I'm gonna put return zero but before that it's gonna do C also std C out hello world colon colon and line and std colon colon and line semicolon and if we run this it will appear but something interesting will happen it disappears easy way to stop that is to system pause now if we run it it stays down then we can just close the application by clicking so that's it we'll provide source code for the Exco project and the window project but as we said we will just be working on Exco but it's generally transferable the skills are if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at the email will be in the description you can comment on this video just directly message us via youtube whatever you feel comfortable with like i said all the required links for the source code will be in the description and as usual thanks for watching and i hope you have a nice day